Hi, clarinets. Mr. Y here, of course. Uh, we're going to finish up the E flat concert scale this week. We started it a couple weeks back. Uh, we did number one and two a couple weeks back. Remember, this is the F scale for you guys. So it's actually really easy with the fingers. We've got just the F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, B flat, actually. Remember, it's B flat in the whole thing. Um, so fingering wise, this is not all that hard. There's no high notes at all, which I know you guys are horribly disappointed by, but, <laughs> but there aren't any high notes at all. Um, number three is really just kind of a finger twister. Remember, you can go as fast or slow as you want to in any of these. Um, I'm going to kind of go on medium speed, but I really, really recommend that you take it really, really slow at first, of course, at least, to get it really darn good. Um, you know, super slow motion. Slow and good is better than fast and bad. Make it really good at first. Remember, also, all those B flats, okay? Don't mess up and play the B natural instead, because if you learn it that way, it's going to be really hard to unlearn it and then relearn it the right way with B flat, okay? So for number three, it starts on that low F. Um, by the way, I've decided that I would like to do the Fs with my right hand, this F key right here, remember, instead of the other F key. And I'm also going to be doing the E's with my left hand. I'm going to go back and forth like that, F over here and E over here. Um, there are a couple other uh, accidentals in number five that we'll talk about when we get there. Okay, but for right now, you'll see I'm being consistent. It doesn't really matter which one you do. You can do the F here and the, the E here, the way I'm doing it, or you can do the F here and the E here, the other way. That's totally cool too. You should do one with each hand though. You shouldn't try to do both with your right hand or both with your left hand. That's not going to really work because you're going to find your pinky flying around a lot and it's not going to work very well. Um, it, in fact, you can't do it on some of the slurs in number four, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, so number three. <laughs> here and then the E here. Uh, so in that last part you're going, uh, let's see, B flat, G, A, F, G, E, F is what it amounts to. Okay. Um, number four, we have uh, the same notes this time, but there are some articulations. You have on the first line, two slurred, two notes slurred, and then two notes staccato. On the second line, it's reversed. You have two notes staccato and then two notes slurred. Um, but it's all the same notes you just played, so that should not be a problem at all with this. Number four. part G, F, E, and then G, and then F, again, because I'm doing F with my right hand and E with my left hand, okay? Um, now, for number five, we have a couple extra notes. Um, first of all, th it's the same B flat you had all the way through, of course, but you'll notice there are in the song, in the actual song, written in some sharps and some naturals, so you got to watch out for this. This is the chromatic version of the scale, really, is what it is. Um, in the first measure, you know, for instance, you've got the F, E, F, A, and then G, F sharp. Now, I'm going to play the F sharp with my right hand. That's the top outside pinky key right here. You can do it with the other hand too if you want to. Okay. Um, the outside one over here with your left hand. I'm going to do it with my right hand. Okay. Um, and I, I do mark these in for myself, by the way, so I don't forget. Okay. Anything you can do to help yourself remember which one you're going to do will help with less confusion later on, I think. So I wrote it in. Um, so I'm going to do the F sharp with my left, my uh, right hand, I mean. Um, in the next measure, you have G sharp. Now, G sharp you can't do with your left hand. There is no G sharp key on your left hand. So you have to do it with your right hand over here. It's the top center pinky key. Okay, not the top side, but the top center right here. Um, in the third measure, you have a B natural. That's middle finger, of course. You also have a C sharp. That's three fingers plus this guy right here. Okay, that little key that goes across the clarinet right there. Okay, in the fourth measure, you have a D sharp. I'm going to do D sharp two fingers plus my bottom side key over here on my right hand. You can do it with a little sliver key here, too, if you want. I like this one better myself. Okay? Okay, so if we're coming back down, uh, it's the same exact notes we had before, the same sharps and naturals, but this time you're coming back down the scale. So it's really no, no harder. Um, F, E, F, D, E, D sharp, E, C, D, C sharp, D, B flat, C. That is a B flat, by the way, because remember, there's no natural by it, and B flat's in the key signature. Okay? Um, then... B flat, A, B flat, G, A, G sharp again. Remember this guy right here, the top center pinky key. There's no left hand version of that. 
Okay, so A, G sharp, A, F. I'm going to do F again in my right hand down here. Then for the last measure, G, F sharp is the top back pinky key right here. I'm going to use my right hand again. And then back to G. And then E, you have to have your left hand in here too. I'm going to use my left hand for that one. Okay, I like to use my left hand for the E, especially when it's right by the F, because then you can just put down both your pinkies and then pick up the E pinky to get back to the F down here. Okay, you know. It's the real easy way to do it. Okay. Okay, so number five all the way through, hopefully. not all the hard take it really really slow also focus on the trouble spots if you're having trouble say with I don't know that last measure the last measure really kind of was the hardest one for me you might want to focus just on uh, here you can't really see my fingers can you you know the first two notes there then try the first three notes in this case it's the same note so it's easy then four notes until you get it really down, and then all five notes. You know, so focus your energy on just on one spot at a time. That's really what you want to do. Uh, no matter where your trouble spot is, you can always break it down to just two notes, and then add a third note, and then add a fourth note, and eventually get to where you can play, you know, most of the sector. Um, put the puzzle pieces together a little bit at a time, and then try to put the whole thing together. That's really the key here. Okay? Good luck with it. Thanks.